Hi guys, after building the mushroom farm yesterday, I got the idea that we could use mushroom spreading now to build one of the slowest flying machine engines. And this one is really slow. For a real life day, it would move on average 1.6 blocks. And it works like this, so we have two pots blocks, and the mushroom would spread to the other block, and this takes on average 7.5 hours, and then this side here gets pulled, and then once the mushroom spreads to the new block, the rest gets pushed. So we move one block in two steps. I wanted to record a time lapse, but since I would need to record several days of footage uh, just to see it moving a few times, um, let's just speed up the random tick speed. So now it's a hundred, now it's 10,000 times more likely that a mushroom would spread, and this way we can see it moving a little bit. Still, so you can see mushroom spreading is super slow. Maybe it's doing 20,000 times faster. Now it moves. <laughs> so as you can see, it works. Um, and what was important for me, that even if there's, if there's, a, there's a super small chance that the mushroom would uh, grow in the new block directly in the next stick once it's moved, and this shouldn't break the whole engine. So let's speed it up even more. Let's do random tick speed half a million. And now mushroom would uh, almost spread all the time. And I added a lot of delay, so the last thing that always gets moved is the pot saw block. And this way, um, even if the mushroom would grow in the next tick once it's moved, uh, it doesn't break the engine. And over there I adjusted a little bit, so you could even make a flying mushroom farm. With those hopper minecarts, it would even collect the mushrooms, it's kind of funny. I used several of the new observer features that we got in 16w44a. First of all, now we can detect mushrooms, it wasn't possible before. And now an observer also can detect if another observer is yeah, triggered. So this observer would turn on, but yeah, both those observers would detect it. And let's go over here. So something like this would work again. So we can yeah, make something like this. And the observer also now detects if you would power, for example, a hopper. Because the blocks they changed, the hopper is now powered. And the same yeah, works with dispensers and droppers. It's quite useful. And this was shown by Shirozuke92 on Reddit. You could make a yeah, simple clock again with uh, yeah, this dropper here. So what happens here, the moment the dropper is always powered, but if I unpower it, the observer would detect it, power this redstone dust, which powers the uh, dropper again, and then this way we make a clock. And this is quite useful. Um, you could also disable it just by powering the redstone dust on top. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, I showed how you can use the new observer to make a tall uh, flower farm. Um, my old concept co got broken, but we could easily replace it with the new one. So we could something like this. So it's really easy to fix, uh, it's basically the same, you just have this dropper at the bottom and just place this pencil around it, um, like this. Okay, so back to the mushroom engine, uh, it's probably not very useful, but I'm gonna do a tutorial anyway. Okay, so to build the engine you need two pozzo blocks, then here we need an observer, points into a block, and then a normal piston in front. Here we need another observer that detects the mushroom, and this one points upwards, there's a sticky piston, and here are three observers to the side, and there's another piston, normal one. Then slime blocks, like this, and here we also need a normal piston, right here, and here we need an observer pointing that direction, sticky piston, and more slime blocks and observe on top, like this. So now let's continue on this side here. Now we need to push those blocks, connect it with slime box, and use a sticky piston. Here we also have slime block, with some block on top, and connect with the slime block here. And here we have another normal piston, so, redstone block here, and 
Let's unblock here. Then expand it by one slime block and put another observer on top. Then here we have a sticky piston. Here we just stack some delay. And one more sticky piston. And now we also need to move this potzel block and this sticky piston here. Connect it up. And we're done. So now we can place the mushroom here. And one spreads to this side. I think it's pushed forward. And like this. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.